Today is Expo Day. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Critter Corner. Today I'm going to Exoticon. It is like 8 in the morning right now. It starts at 9 and we're trying to get there as soon as they open because I'm looking for a very specific reptile. Here's a list of everything that I want to get at this expo. If they have silkworms there, I'm definitely picking them up. I honestly doubt that they'll have them, but I'm really hoping that they do. I also need to get flightless fruit flies for Drax. I want to get silicone feeding cups because I have 3D printed ones right now. Silicone ones are so much better and they had them last time, so I'm really hoping they have them this time. I'll probably get like eight of them. And I need to get pinky mice and weaned rats. The pinky mice may give you a hint as to what I am getting for my new reptile. And the last thing is a secret. I'm going to reveal which reptile I get at the end of this video. I didn't film a ton at the expo because I was on a mission. I did find all the feeders I was looking for and they had the coolest snakes there. The gorgeous emerald tree boa, my dream snake. Look how tiny these dumpy tree frogs are. And they just had monitors, tegus, tortoises red foots which are my personal favorite tortoise and they also had mammals there like guinea pigs ferrets sugar gliders and rabbits i was looking for a western hog that was snake though so i did find what i was looking for and i left the expo very happy so they had everything i wanted at the expo except for those silicone cups i'm probably going to order some from pangea but usually at expos they're super super cheap but they didn't have any, so I'll order some. I was hoping to pick some up, but it's okay. Uh, they did have everything else though, so I got silkworms. These are probably about like a medium size. Uh, Abu and Zazu will absolutely devour these. I got flightless fruit flies for Drax. Uh, again, he's gonna love these. And then I also got frozen feeders. So I'm gonna go downstairs and show you those. Okay, so at the expo, I did get some feeders. I got green rats, which this seller sells all white rats, which is awesome, because Tarzan loves all white rats. I got 25 of these. And then I also got 50 pinky mice. These guys are really tiny. So 50 of these. My new reptile is a Western hognose snake. This is a male. I think we're gonna name him a Thumper. He is a Xanthic Conda. A gorgeous snake, an absolutely gorgeous snake. Um, I'm not planning on breeding him, but with how pretty he is, I might have to. Um, I'm gonna update this vlog later uh, with him in his enclosure, but I wanted to film this before the rest of the haul so I could put him in his enclosure and he can de-stress a little bit. Okay, so this is his quarantine enclosure. He is currently in here in this hide. He was peeking his head out earlier. There's his little hog nose head. He is so precious and he's very bold. I know they're diurnal, so it's during the day right now and he's out, but he has been exploring this little enclosure. Oh my goodness. The hog nose breeder did give me a free little hide which these hides are great, great for keeping humidity in. Hognoses are not a humid species, but if I use it for something else, these are awesome. And then he also gave me a free little water dish for, I almost dropped it, for the hognose because I did spend a couple hundred dollars on him. So this was nice at least to get a little free stuff out of it. So I did have to hold a uh, thumper to put him on the scale. So I did get a video of him. He's absolutely gorgeous the most beautiful snake i've ever seen in my life i am putting him back leaving him alone i do like to get initial weights for my reptiles the first day i get them because he's gonna be eating in these first two weeks without handling so i want to get a weight before he eats um and just in case he doesn't eat see if he's losing weight i just like to get a weight as soon as i bring them home other than that i do not touch them this was right before i put him on the scale and i just really I think he's so gorgeous. Handling wise, temper wise, he did not huff and puff at all. I did use the snake hook to get him out of his enclosure and then I put him onto my hands. That's what I do for Tarzan too. Um, not anymore, but when I brought him home, I did that just to get them used to the snake hook. 
and he was an angel. Perfect, no huffing and puffing, which I heard hog noses can be huffy puffy. We'll see when he gets older because I know that is something that could like happen when they're older too. But yeah, handling wise, I handled him for probably like a minute total, um, 15 seconds that he was on the scale. He does weigh 13 grams, by the way. So I will be keeping track of his weight and everything. I absolutely love Exoticon. It's my favorite expo around here just because of the variety they have in their breeders and everything. It's where I got my Chameleon Gecko Drax. And he's, Chameleon Geckos are pretty like uncommon species. And the fact that they had them is really cool. I've been to expos where they don't even have African fat tail geckos. So Exoticon, a huge variety. They have also so many different pets outside of reptiles. They have a lot of mammals, like I showed in the clips earlier. And then they also have birds, which this one guy lets you hold birds to bird rescue. I, I talked about this in my last Exoticon vlog, but the guy lets you hold like any bird you want, um, which is super cool. And he tells you about them, how long they'll live, about um, that specific rescue, how they came to them. And... It's super cool. So I just love all the different variety they have there. It's not a huge expo. Um, I did get some clips of the building and everything. It's not huge. Um, everyone there is super sweet. They also have cool artists there, feeders, everything you need at an expo. So it's awesome. It's super close to me, the one in Manassas. So I'll keep going to it. Um, and eventually I want to breed my isopods and take them there to vend so yeah super exciting stuff um this is kind of like the first video i've posted in a while just because i've been working on a lot of stuff in the reptile room and those updates will be coming very soon i promise uh reptile room vlog will be coming after mr thumper here gets out of quarantine and i can make his enclosure beautiful with substrate and everything and then the reptile room vlog tour will be there i promise so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for your continued support for all of my platforms. Um, Instagram, I've been getting a ton of followers recently and I'm just so proud of my content. Love what I do, want to continue making content for you guys and I'm so excited to have another snake um, in this little reptile family. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!